According to a study conducted by the University of Texas, it is a common occurrence for couples, even those in happy relationships, to engage in arguments. Interestingly, the research indicates that these arguments often revolve around similar topics as those in unhappy relationships, such as children, finances, relationships with in-laws, and intimacy. However, the difference between happy and unhappy couples when it comes to fights lies in how we fight. Hello, fine love family. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an important topic to discuss. How to fight smart. The five key fighting styles in relationships or marriage. But before we begin, please take a moment to smash that like button below and hit subscribe so that you never miss out on our relationship advice and tips. All right, let's get started. When it comes to handling conflicts in relationships, everyone has a unique way of going about it. Today, we'll be looking at the five common fighting styles. Understanding these styles can help you to become more aware of how you deal with issues and enable you to develop healthier communication patterns. So let's break them down. Style one, venting. This style involves expressing your frustrations and concerns openly and honestly. People who use the venting style usually feel the need to talk things out immediately and seek validation from their partner. They believe that addressing issues directly can lead to resolution. The characteristics of venting include expressing emotions freely and openly, being assertive in communicating needs and concerns, seeking active listening and validation from their partner, and valuing open and honest communication. Venting can be considered as a healthy and constructive style of handling conflicts. However, it is advised to be mindful of your partner's needs and emotions during the process. Sometimes excessive venting can overwhelm the other person and make them feel attacked or defensive. As such, finding balance between expressing yourself and allowing space for your partner to respond is key. The second fighting style is hiding or avoiding. This style involves avoiding conflict or bearing negative emotions, hoping they will resolve themselves over time. People who use the hiding style are usually those who fear confrontation or believe that it's best to keep the peace by staying quiet. The main characteristics include avoiding conflict and uncomfortable conversations, suppressing negative emotions rather than expressing them, preferring to let issues go unresolved instead of addressing them, and believing that avoidance is the key to maintaining harmony. The hiding or avoiding style to conflict management may temporarily avoid conflicts, but it often leads to unresolved issues and builds up resentment. Communication, as you must have heard several times before, is a vital aspect to any relationship, and it's important to express your feelings and concerns in a healthy and timely manner. The third style we will be looking at is exploding. This style involves intense and immediate emotional reactions to conflicts. People who explode, in quotes, usually have a short fuse and respond impulsively, often resulting in heated arguments. Characteristics of the exploding style include reacting with intense emotions such as anger, frustration, or even rage, engaging in impulsive and heated arguments, using personal attacks or hurtful language during conflicts, and struggling to control emotional reactions in the moment. As much as exploding allows one to free themselves of burning emotions, it can also lead to irreparable damage in relationships. It is important to find healthier ways to manage and express your emotions, such as taking a step back to cool down before discussing the issue. Remember, you want to avoid saying things that you will regret when the situation is calm. Style 4, Competition This style involves a win-lose mentality where conflicts are approached as a battle to be won. People who use the competition style always prioritize their own needs and desires over their partners, leading to power struggles and arguments. Those who see conflict as a competition generally seek to win arguments and prove themselves right, use tactics such as blaming, criticizing, or manipulating, focus on individual goals rather than the relationship's well-being, and struggle to see the other person's perspective. 
Competition can be motivating in certain contexts, but when it comes to relationships, it is detrimental to a greater extent. It is important to stop focusing on winning arguments and instead focus on finding solutions that benefit both partners and prioritize the overall health and happiness of the relationship. When conflicts arise, the goal should be to reach a resolution that satisfies both people and helps the relationship to thrive. Style 5. Compromising The last fighting style we'll be looking at is compromising. This style is all about finding a middle ground and making concessions to work through conflicts. People who use the compromising style prioritize keeping the peace and are willing to give up some of their own desires to meet their partner halfway. In this style, it is all about finding a fair solution that both partners can agree on. The characteristics include seeking fair and balanced solutions through negotiation, willingness to make sacrifices to reach a resolution, valuing equality and fairness in the relationship, and recognizing that not every conflict can be fully resolved. Compromising is a practical and effective approach in relationships when partners have different needs or wants. It's really about finding the middle ground where both people feel satisfied. By working together and finding common solutions, compromising strengthens the relationship. It shows a willingness to understand and accommodate each other, fostering cooperation and harmony. Ultimately, compromising helps couples to navigate conflicts and reach resolutions that prioritize the well-being of both partners. Now that we've discussed these different fighting styles, it is important to understand that there isn't a right or wrong style. Each person is unique in the relationship and so it is important to find a healthy balance that suits both partners. What works for one couple may not work for the other. The key is to be open-minded, communicate openly, and find middle ground that respects both individuals' needs and promotes a positive and supportive relationship. Remember, it is really about finding what works best for you and your partner, rather than trying to fit into a specific mold. So in summary, be aware of your fighting style and how it may impact your relationship. Practice open and honest communication while being mindful of your partner's needs. Seek compromises and solutions rather than aiming to win the argument. And lastly, consider seeking professional help such as corpus therapy if you find it challenging to navigate conflicts in your relationship. Remember, it's about fighting smart for your relationship to work rather than fighting each other. So that's all for today's video. We hope you found this information valuable and insightful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And as always, subscribe to our channel for more relationship advice and tips. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, remain blessed.